Right. You start, okay? And then, boom, welcome to Jacksonville Studio Live 59. Did I put 59? Yes, 59. <laughs> and, and boom. <laughs> Um, we are a small s independent software studio working on a, on a new sailing, sailing simulator. Um, we're very small, it's just me doing the programming and Chuck's over there doing the 3D graphics. We need a boom emoji. Get on it! I think to get a boom emoji, <laughs> I think to add one emoji, I think I need more subscribers. Um, Chuck, do you want to give us an update on your amazing <laughs> work? What you're doing today and what's your plan for today? Um, today my plan is to do a to do a physics boat. The yeah. So basically, I have to do a, a low poly version of this one. I have to only do the bottom for right, not the entire boat. Just. This. Just the hull. Just the hull. Yeah. Yeah. I have to do a low poly version but of that. But as usually do the also the do also a little bit of the mast, like you did with the catamaran. So because this can capsize. So if it capsize, okay. we want to float right. on the. So just the mast without the yeah. insane. Yeah. Yeah. And, and ve heat. very low poly, like you know, it could be a box. Yeah. Mm, low poly, like how much polygon exactly? You can have a check. Uh, how, how many polygons you're using with uh, with the other boat? Okay, uh, I can with see Luna the, Rosa. the Luna Rosa. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I it, I don't think it's gonna take me that long time to to do it. So after that, I think I'm gonna continue working on the creating the texture and substance painter. Yeah. We really need to sort out the the driving position because this is going to be the most difficult thing for this boat. Um, the way I think it, this is going to work is probably um, I will have to add something to the physics where right now the physics we have that it's assuming that the crew is moving with the camera right so if we move the camera on the starboard side of the boat um, the weight of the crew moves there uh, if we move the camera on the other side, the weight of the crew moves on the other side. From what I can see on these boats, um, from the videos that are available on the internet, um, probably only one or two people in the crew are actually moving from one side to another. What I think is going to happen with this boat, uh, because if you remember, we, we still have to confirm this, but the biggest problem is going to be that we are not going to be able to see the foils. So we will have to find a way um, to, to do this. So I either have to find a position that allow us to see the foil, and that means that that position is going to be leeward so not from where the wind is coming where we usually sit on the boat but on the other side because that's the place where actually the foil will be in the water so from the video that i saw it looks to me like that's exactly how it works the the flight controller sits on the side where the foil is in the water and it's looking at the foil yeah. And sits falling. on the side like here yeah so like yeah. almost falling uh i think it's just with his head out right just looking down like this uh, remember there was that video where you could see the guy and had uh, sort of something in his hands that was blurred and you couldn't see it because it was a secret yeah and i don't think it's not i don't think it's gonna take me that long so if i can do it faster and then after that I'm gonna continue working on the texture yeah let's see the the situation with yes. the texture right nice yeah right do you see this black line here all oh, right okay Paul. right so, so there are there are like put like three of them 
it, it basically is something that allows the, the, the flight controller to easily judge. Um, okay, so I put it here in the bottom. Yeah. Three black lines. Yeah, three black okay. lines. So before I start with my plan for today, I want to go through, I can tell you the name of the game. The Steam, uh, the Steam link is not available because we need screenshots. So until I have the ability to create some decent screenshot, uh, but you know, the, the name of the game. So this is the, the name guys. Ta-da! <laughs> Basically, like a flag, you know? Yeah. And then with the H, if you can see. Yeah, like there is there one, is that H like that H. is not obvious, but it's there. Yeah. And obviously the the foil. That's it. That's the that's the logo. Let me recap a little bit a couple of things that uh, I was saying. Um, I didn't really explain very well. First of all, the stream. Uh, I was cursing everything. <laughs> I was really not in a good mood um, because of the forced feedback. Um, as usual, as, as it usually happened, you know, I just took a couple of hours away from the computer and went back to the computer and the solution was very obvious. And uh, the problem was all in the fact that um, I have something called the force feedback uh, foils basically is a vector of indices of which foils um, contribute to to the force feedback of the boat right and what we want is, is just a shortcut to uh, gather all the foils that are attached to the to the helm of the boat and what was happening was that when I wrote this code um, I hard coded the the catamaran foils right so it was basically using two foils, fo fo foil zero and foil one, uh, to create the force feedback. In this boat, uh, compared to the catamaran, so if, if we look at the, at the catamaran, which from now on is called JX50, so here's the catamaran, and we can see that the catamaran is Cataram. The catamaran has lots of foils, so it's got the two rudders, first of all. So this was hard-coded to get the force feedback from this guy and from this guy. And then he had all the other foils, right, lots of stuff. Obviously, the yak doesn't have foil, it's not a foiling boat. So the, the physics still treating stuff like keels and uh, rudders as foils because the physics is basically the same. But what was happening was that it was gathering the force feedback from the rudder and from the main keel. And that meant that my force feedback made absolutely no sense at all, right? I, it, be, because it was coming from the keel of the boat, not only which is way bigger than the rudder what i was feeling on on the steering wheel made absolutely no sense he had no correlation to where i was steering and where i was going and that made me really frustrated <laughs> in the last stream but you know the good news is that there is uh, there is no bug uh, it's actually pretty awesome let me let me see if i can if i can uh, quickly start so what I what I feel on on the on the wheel on the helm <laughs> right now is it, it makes total sense with with and it is actually telling me um, a lot of what the boat is doing. Um, as usual, is it takes a little bit of patience to get this boat going, obviously. And also, because the eye is used to 30, 40 knots from the catamaran, this all looks incredibly slow, <laughs> but, but it's not. And now it's cool because you see the steering wheel is, is not moving, right? It's, it's nice and damped down. I can, I can feel what, what the boat wants to do, but it's not turning crazily in one direction on, on, on another direction, right? It, it, 
you see, it's like, okay, now it wants to turn a little bit into the wind, but you know, it's, it's all very civilized. So, uh, and it's, it's actually beautiful. It's, it's actually really nice because on this boat, you can really feel the, the physics of the hull uh, working. So if you remember, we used to have um, a problem with this boat where when the boat was uh, leaning too much, seven knots, and you can start to see the problem here. You see the sea is sort of cutting uh, the 3D object. And, and it becomes more evident as the, the boat is healing, right? Okay. So, uh, if you remember, Chax did a variation on the boat and detached a particular object, which is basically the deck and the walls of the deck, and he called it hull. So now I can go in the file that selects the graphics option for that boat and say, use this object uh, as a special stencil object and that will will use a slightly different uh, it will use the stencil buffer if you are a graphic programmer you know what a stencil buffer is um, to mask um, which part of the screen the water is actually allowed to to go and with that on um, we can see straight away like for example you can see now the water only happening on the on the grinder uh, winches so i'll do it again just concentrate on those winches uh, on those it's not called i don't know if it's called winch the one that the grinder use right but you can see that you can see the water only there but on the actual deck of the of the boat you cannot see it anymore and and that remains the same you know once once the boat gets going as soon you you give the right angle to the to the sail, the boat starts to heal down. But we can see that now, right? Even even if we are healing, um, we can see that there is no water coming in here. So that that works. Um, right. Before I do a coffee, let me go through uh, the plan for today. So the plan for today is trails texture follows boat. Uh, what this is. Uh, I, I spoke quickly about what the trail texture is. I will show it to you again. So we have now this stuff <laughs> on the sea that, uh, as I was saying, are not what you think. So they are not any kind of indication of anything, but eventually what they will be are, are going to be the, the texture that will contain the water movement behind the boat and this is this has to be super dynamic right we want to for a boat like this it doesn't matter right but for a for a foiling catamaran we want to see the right trail in the right place whether or not we're foiling or we are displacing right so if we are displacing in the water there will be like two long trails fat ones if once we start foiling, we will have three because we will have the front foil and the two rudders creating very thin, um, very thin, thin trails. So that's that's the idea. And so these textures eventually will contain those uh, informations and these move with the water. So these are part of the water shader. So in fact, um, you can see that they follow the water. If I put more waves, they follow the waves perfectly, right? So you, you can imagine the trails following this thing uh, pretty well. So what we are going to do today is, so this is the basic code for to, to make it work and to test the performance. So I was happy with how usable it is and the performance. Um, what we are going to try to do today is to have one of these. So this is simulating like 10 boats, right? Simulating 10 texture trails. What we are going to do today is to have one of these follow our boat as we move around. 
Right. So that's what we wanted to solve. It's going to be a matter of uh, creating a matrix that allow us to transform from a, um, from a 2D world position into uh, a position for that texture. Right? And, and that's going to be the first step um, to complete this task. And the second step is going to be to actually start rendering the actual particles um, of trails in that texture. Then we will try to import the new boot from Chucks, although it's already 11, lots of talking today. Maybe I do Australia or Rotterdam? Do Napoli. Jesus no. Christ. No, you have to Napoli. I'm the boss. No. You have to do Napoli. No. You're fired. I like Australia. Boot. You're totally fired. I'm gonna do Australia. Gale on that building. Okay. So we do a, there's a beach in Napoli. Do there's a beach in Napoli. Uh, no, it's okay, all exactly. rocks. So, okay. So I don't but do, a I don't do topless naked girls. Mm, <laughs> you can do topless naked girl, no problem. <laughs> now this, because I'm sending all identity matrix, what I expect now is that all the texture will be in the same place. And because they will add to each other, I imagine them to be bright as a supernova. That's my prediction. Let's see if it comes through. So instead of a supernova, we got a total nothing, which is disappointing. The, well, here it is. All right, okay, here's a supernova. I see it, look at that. It's a very small supernova but it's there and it's super bright so look at that look how the the camera goes everything dark to to adjust to the supernova right so the prediction was correct in theory every everything is working there now we have to make it work on the game side so let's start easy i bought this for jack <laughs> actually you can now do the is there yeah you can now do the, the new feature the new feature the, the, oops, oops. <laughs> the cat cam <laughs> okay, <Tim. laughs> huh? oh you want catnip because Jax likes to <laughs> weed <laughs> to get high is it no, it's catnip, right? Yeah, catnip. It's not weed. <laughs> no, it's catnip. <laughs> no? Is it? Kunosh is coming. Kunosh is coming. Oh, I also have something for you, baby. This is for Kunosh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, come in. There you go. Is it because... I think because I need to do a float for... One. I think that's what it is. <clears throat> because both trails matrix is a four by four matrix, that means that I need to put one because, let me see if <laughs> what I'm saying is correct. There you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, it's working. So we can see now that our texture is following <laughs> the boat. Very cool, very nice. No, let's make it bigger. Let's make it bigger. This is Jack's uh, after cutting it. <laughs> <laughs> you can see? Yeah. Wait, let me show. Play, play. Here you go, and this is working. Still not doing exactly what we want because it's following our boat. It is 100 meters big, but is starting from that vertices here. We want it basically to be um, 
we want the boat to be pretty much here. Right? One thing that I want to check is what happens if I turn the boat. Okay, it works. If I turn the boat, it still follows the boat. So that's incredibly satisfying to watch. So let's get this offset. It's either that or min minus 0 0.5. Let's see. Okay, so it's not that. <laughs> it's minus, I think. Yeah. All right. So that makes sense. So minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5. I'm almost done, eh? How are you doing? Oh my God, really? Pressure, pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. You're still doing the physics? Yeah. Holy fuck. It would be like, you know, something 10 minutes. I know. Too much jacks. All right. Too much jacks. That's following exactly in the middle. Too much cut. But we want to offset on here. So we want to go probably 90% and um, I should be done. Okay, you're so fast, Paul. Ah, I'm super smart. Right. Yep. Uh, all right. Does it work if I turn the boat? Look at that. Look at that. Totally works. All right. I will do a 10 minutes sailing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One thing also that I wanted to say is that if you remember some older streams, the first time that I tried the force feedback, at a certain point I said, oh, it, it feels like I pop, I pop a rudder out of the water. It was not that what it was. And I will shut up as soon as I, I get to the, to the point there where I have to, uh, jibe you will probably hear the first VP doing bang so i will shut up i don't know if you heard that and it's basically happening as soon as i um change the camera position and the reason it's super cool the reason is that uh, when I change the camera position, the weight of the crew goes all on the other side in one instant, right? So you get that pop. Let's see if I can do it again. You, you, you probably also saw the, the steering wheel moving because it just gave me a, a pop. And that's super cool. As I was saying, I mean, steering wheel and, and mouse and automatic sails with the, with the catamaran is really, you know, a nice experience. It's not too stressing. Obviously, in theory, it should be, it should be better when, when we have a little bit more wind. Right now, I am in a, in a low pressure zone. I was with 11 knots of wind. so not really lots of pressure now we're going up see good pressure 15 16 okay so this is the difficult part i need to leave the 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 hand from the foil for one second to move to operate the button to drop the board After attack with this wind is really painful to come back on the foils if you drop the fall from the foils. Um. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I like that. I, I did this on purpose, right? It's interesting that force feedback <laughs> force feedback is still working. Interesting. Force feedback is still working even in the replays. Bam. 
Very nice. Uh, let me see the speed. We went from 39 knots to boom, 14. I think I have to increase the, the water resistance because I think the loss of speed is even more than that. Spam. All right, so it's, for now it's not working at all. So um, how, how long do you think you, you're gonna need? For that, there is no point doing the stream this afternoon, right? But you have a call. Yeah, but I think I should be done by three o'clock maximum. Right. So if we eat quickly, in theory, we could do another stream this afternoon. Well, uh, we'll probably see you later around three, uh, half past three, if, if you're around. Uh, have a good lunch if you're going to eat and see you later. Ciao, ciao, ciao. See you later, guys. Ciao, ciao.